All right, guys, another sort of quickie. Knowing me, it won't be quite so quick, but uh, I thought this might be interesting. Actually, it occurred to me to share this bit of info, uh, as it may be something that's simple and useful uh, for. Um, it's actually to do with balancing. Now, this this is a very very old wire wheel. It goes back a hell of a long way. It's getting quite worn. It's an old quarter horse motor, homemade arbor, and this is a fairly soft steel actually. It doesn't make too much of a mess of parts when you're getting rust off. Now I want to show you another one. Now here's another wire wheel. This is a much more aggressive, very hard steel bristles, quite useful for tougher work. Now that last one I showed you is pretty well balanced. The motor just sings along, no vibration. Now this one, from our dear old friend Harbour Freight. Very good value, but boy oh boy was it not balanced. Shook this thing to pieces. Well, relatively. Nothing worse than having a bad vibration problem, so I decided I wanted to try and balance it. And I'll show you what I did in a minute. Now, do you see that? Guy, I always call them self-tapping screws. Sheet metal screw, god dear. Anyway, there's one there, and there's one on the back side, and there are a few bristles that have been nipped out from uh, this side. It now is almost balanced. That again is a quarter horse spare motor. It's one I was going to use for a hacksaw project <laughs> until I got the bandsaw. Uh, again, made an arbor for it. It's on a, um, I think it's a half inch shaft. So that's running pretty well. I'm quite pleased with that. Now the thing is how to balance that if you've got a cheap and cheerful. Let's move on to what we did. Right, I'm not sure what sequence to do this in. This is a suck it and see thing. I haven't planned it. Um, Back when I was flying model aircraft, which I haven't done for a little while, uh, on gas engines, it's pretty important to get the prop balance. And there is a commercial unit <clears throat> which actually has two magnets and a shaft with pointed ends, so you've actually got magnetic bearings, almost zero friction. But I think before I had that, I made this unit, which had been put away and not used very much. It's actually still quite viable. Let me show you here with, this is a, I think it's an unused prop. It's almost balanced. It's actually got just a little extra weight this end. Now this is not quite as sensitive as the other one that I would use, but the principle is, see if I can show what we've got here. All right, I've got a piece of, I think it's 080 piano wire, and then we've got a little taper turned brass pieces with a set screw collar, same each end. So the cone of the, uh, I'm trying to think what to call the darn thing. Can't think of a name for it. So the cone of this piece goes into the hole in the prop, both sides, and holds it lightly. And uh, each end of the wire rests on a shaped piece on the base. Now the base is very simple. It doesn't get much simpler than this. Piece of scrap wood. What I'm trying to show here, if it's visible, you see there's a little cut in the top of this piece of uh, bar. It's made with a rat tail file, so it's a very good semicircle. So I made one on each side, and that matches the radius of the uh, piano wire. Now let's get to the more important bit. Let's swap some bits around and I'll show you what really helps things. Before I do that, I just remembered two extra pieces of equipment here. There's uh, this is a piece of 
5 8 it's conveniently drilled through quarter a little bit of a chamfer there and that's uh, just a nice fit inside a 5 8 hub <clears throat> and a few minutes ago I made this one this was out of a piece of extremely crappy half inch but being half inch I didn't have to turn the diameter so this is inch and a quarter long like the other one bore through quarter chamfer at the end now I'll fit one of these up and show you what the, what's what all right to reiterate balance is pretty important with wire wheels whether it's on a grinder or just running on a motor uh, this actually it's this is a cheapie as far as I remember and although we've got quite a good fit and the, the problem here is the hub you can see how thin it is no guts to it at all so although this this is a oh, there's it's not much slack there but of course the thing isn't very isn't very stable anyway this wheel got a slight heavy spot alright so it probably needs a tiny bit of extra balance but now I'll show you this one which I think trying to look at the writing on it this is the same it's got a very very minimal hub to it this one is absolutely terrible <laughs> look at that you see it's really rusted up. This and one or two others have been in storage for ages. You see the rust area. Let's bring it 180. Whoa! That's as bad or worse than the one I showed you uh, that I put the self-tap uh, sheet metal screws in. Absolutely terrible. So that one can be used if it's balanced. Now I'll just show you one with a half inch bore now that as you can see we've got uh, two distinct sides to it so if we put this in with the half inch it's a nice fit it doesn't wobble around now this old wheel before I let go of it I used to have this in use years and years ago longer than I can remember it's pretty worn but the thing is it's very fat it's very fat across well you can probably see much wider than some wheels so it'd be nice to use it again but watch this if I can get it get it set up oh dear <laughs> look at that uh, let's bring it up to the top again uh. Now I can't remember what I ran that on, but I'm sure as heck, <laughs> sure as heck it vibrated. So I've got two here that really need um, some attention if I want to use them. So there you have it. Dead simple. I'm only throwing this in. It's hardly a project as such. It's just an idea I had the other day, um, mainly because of the um, cheap... Uh, harbour freight one which needed balancing and I thought well this will do for balancing because bear in mind although there's a little bit of friction on the contact points here when you're dealing with a wire wheel which is a pretty heavy thing uh, it's a lot easier to balance than a propeller at the propeller you're talking about fractions of a gram here you're talking about I don't know several grams sometimes and having to uh, balance it out So there we go, throwing that in just for interest sake, 
give you something to think about. You may well have your own solution to this, but until I did the harbour freight wire wheel, I never realised just how to balance the damn things can be. Abrasive uh, wheels generally, with luck, fingers crossed, providing the hubs uh, on centre, you're probably okay. But wire wheels, different matter entirely. Okay, that's it for now. See you again soon. Thanks for watching.